so uh the big homie andrew tate everybody's the big homie in case y'all don't know the big <laughs> homie andrew tate has some things to say about um i'm not calling him the big homie just a little nas x <laughs> <laughs> he's not the big homie. Mm -hmm. But Andrew Tate's the big homie. You know, it's funny. We were talking about it uh, before we uh, started recording is that I don't know nothing about Andrew Tate at all whatsoever. I, I, I hear about, I hear the guy's name. I hear that he's controversial and yada, yada, yada. And the very few handful of things that I've watched about him or I've watched with him talking, he's saying some of the most basic things that, you know, if you're 16, 17, you're a teenager or a young adult, 18, 19, 20, 21, <laughs> um, I get it. Some of the stuff that he's saying is like, oh, wow, this is so insightful and deep or whatever. But for grown adults that are like 25 and up, you can say, he's not saying anything super profound. So it's always it's just so weird to me then, like, why is this guy banned everywhere? Like, he's not saying anything different that you can't find, like, on, like, you know, documentaries on YouTube. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it, he's not saying anything super profound. Like, he's not even like, you know, uh, uh, he 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 does. He's not. It's not even like he goes like the whole like old school Alex Jones route with the Bilderbergs and the Rothschilds and blah, 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 you know, and all that kind of stuff. He doesn't even <laughs> do all that. Like, he just talks about basic things. Like, it, 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 I, I've listened to maybe two minutes of this seven minute clip that we're gonna watch. In the two minutes, he's just saying basic stuff and it's just like well why is this man censored everywhere i don't i don't get it i don't understand i don't have an answer for you bro i don't have an answer for you but one thing that i can tell you is that andrew andrew tate is hilarious yeah he cracks me up you know what i'm saying i don't know if it's because i can't take him serious or if it's the accent or if it's that he looks like the most manufactured Hollywood mob boss in the world. I, I don't know what it is, but dude just be cracking me up. So you said he looks like something out of like Vice City, yeah. The Grand Theft Auto Vice City, like <laughs> yeah, like yeah, like he, that's what he looked like. The dude that just always has a, a suitcase and is like has somebody open up the car door for him. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, <laughs> it's hilarious, man. It's just funny. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's, let's get into this. Let's see what he's saying about um Lil Nas X, the the not, the not so big homie. Let's see what big homie Tate is saying about Lil Nas X. I'm trying to make is my friend, and this is genuine. This is not an insult. This is a genuine conversation I want to have with you. You may think it's artistic, and you may think it's cool, but doggy style sex with the devil is nothing other than degenerate. And I know when you're young, you may think that those kind of things are like here we go. You may think those kind of things are edgy, and it's important that we break. They didn't have to include the image. They could have just let Tate talk. <laughs> they, they didn't have to have. It just wouldn't be know. Andrew Tate if we just didn't go all the way there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> Social stereotypes. It's actually disgusting. And there's no need to insult Christianity like that. And there's also no need to worship the devil like that. Nothing good can come from being an absolute degenerate. And thinking that having anal sex, doggy style with the devil is somehow good for the world. This is not about gay. You pause it. It's not about. You see, just listening to that alone before you get into your point. Where's the lie in what he's saying? Like, I don't I get was, I was just, I was just about to say, mind uh -huh. you, he's banned. <laughs> right. This guy's banned for saying something like that's like. Like, there's no reason to disrespect Christianity. I'm pretty sure he's not a Christian, but like, he's just, it's just basic general Curtis. Like, there's no reason to disrespect Christianity like that. There's nothing that's going to come good out of you devil worshiping or even pretending to do that. This is just degenerate behavior and there's no reason for it. Ban this guy. <laughs> You're banned. Yeah, honestly, like, he, he hasn't really even gone into like the whole LGBTQ angle. He's still taking the religious angle as far as like, you know, like the, the, christianity disrespect and all that you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so you know and like, like I said, i'm pretty i'm pretty sure he's not a christian himself but it's just he's just talking about being a decent human being that's yeah. it just being a decent respectable human being and he's banned for this all right <laughs> i guess straight i wouldn't have sex with a female devil yeah. i wouldn't have sex with a female he's young that's why yeah. i wouldn't Knowingly. have sex with a female devil i have massive influence i would never promote satanism i would never promote anything to do with the devil i think that any that doing that is largely and absolutely irresponsible and let me tell you what's actually cool nas x or little nas x what's cool is promoting people to be good to each other and to be nice to each other and you can sit here and say he well i'm it. intolerant mm-hmm 
Mind you, he's banned. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> That's what that's what's hilarious. <laughs> this man's literally we must get like, him off social media. Get him off. He's telling the people that we should respect one another and we should be nice to one another. What? Get this guy out of here. <laughs> He's saying that we should respect each other and be courteous. They're fighting. They're fighting to get books into schools that literally promote what Lil Nas X is doing. He's banned. Okay. He's banned. <laughs> Because I'm not tolerant of you having sex with the devil. The devil in and of himself is an intolerant being. Mm. If you believe in tolerance, you must believe in God. You can't be out here promoting these things. What you're doing is genuinely disgusting. And what's happened is this. He didn't come up with this idea. Someone above him came up with this idea. Some artistic producer, some record producer, someone came to him and said, this is going to be cool. This is going to break the internet. You're young. You're young. He's impressionable. You're going to have sex with the devil. This is going to break the internet. And he's too young to know any better. So he did it. And my, my advice to you, little Nas X, is that you're going to have a legacy because you're a famous person. You're living a very special life. You're going to be remembered for a very long time. You don't want to be remembered for these things. You want to be remembered for your kindness and your grace. And when people come to you and try and use you and abuse you because of your naivety, because you're young, and say, have sex with the devil on camera because they have ulterior motives, you need to sit and say, no, I don't think my young children fans need to see me having anal sex with the devil. I think that's a bad thing to do. And I can... <laughs> Why is this man banned? Like, <laughs> He's banned. I was just about to say, did you know that he's banned? Social, like media, social media has said his content is not acceptable. That's like literally the only thing, in terms of reacting to this is concerned, that's like the only thing there really is to say, like, and he's banned. Like, he's, Dude, you know, you're, listen. Gonna, you're very influential. You're going to be remembered for a long time. You don't want to be remembered for this kind of foolishness. You want to be remembered for being a good, kind person. Banned. Get out now, of here. Mind you, Andrew Tate is known for, like, you know what I'm saying? Like not holding back and being very brash and outspoken. Mm -hmm. This is the most respectful critique of Lil Nas X that I've ever seen. Because I, I tell you, mind, honestly, mind surely was not respectful like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, this is definitely the most uh, respectful critique of Lil, as he would say, Nas X of Lil Nas X <laughs> that I've ever heard from anybody. <laughs> You know, he's literally talking, he's literally addressing Lil Nas X as if like he was actually talking to him like, like an OG. In his face. Yeah, like an OG. Like, look, man, you're what you're doing is silly. Man, you know what I mean? Me, come here, man. Let me holler at you real quick. Yeah, I what feel like mean? I don't want to listen to this guy talk who's next. I don't, if you're not Andrew, you know what, like back in the day, like, <laughs> let's say, like, you, like, like, you know, DMX drops the album, whatever. You buy the album and you're listening to a song. DMX verses on, he's spitting. And then whoever's featured on there, you're like, man, fast forward. I don't want to that. All right, then it's Noriega's turn, and you're like, all right, next song. You know, yeah, uh, Noriega comes on. <laughs> like, Noriega comes on, you're like, all right, skip, next song. That's how I right. feel right now. Like, it's, I see this guy get ready to talk, and I'm like, uh, okay, <laughs> next next song. Man, yeah. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we are not interested in what this meant. Let me put this on. Let me see if I remain uninterested. Let's see when he starts talking, if I'm... I'm extremely uninterested. Like the moment the camera went on him, just like, uh, yeah, yeah, let's, whatever you're gonna say. All right, let, let, let's give it a try. Uh, interject right here by saying, "Old Town Road was a banger. It was a banger, and there was nothing degenerate in that video or about it. It was playing from the United States to Romania to South Korea. I heard that song everywhere. I enjoyed that song. You obviously, you obviously have the talent. There's no need." Why does he sound far away when the mic's right in front of his face? Man, they, I don't see it plugged in. Don't those, those that's the same kind of mic that you got. Don't they got a oh. USB cord? Oh, it's not plugged in. <laughs> Tate did a dirty. It's not <laughs> it's not it's not, it's not plugged in. Yeah, look, he has the same mic it looks like. Yeah, to, I was about um, to say I think that's the same mic you got. Where's the plug at? Yeah, because look at the back part over here. I mean, you guys can't see the cursor, but the like, DL it's not plugged the, in. Yeah, the six-pin DLSR thing and the USB, neither of them has a wire going to it. That's why he sounds like that. Because he sounds you know, he sounds like he's just talking in the room. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's just, like, in the room somewhere far ah, away. Andrew wow. Tate's mic is picking up his voice. <laughs> so that just goes to show, like, how uninteresting this guy is and that we re we really should what we thought was correct. Like, the world is correct. Fast forward this guy. Uh, bro, you ain't even got no mic feed. Like, right. you ain't got no audio. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it doesn't even have a mic feed, man. There's nothing connected. To this. Oh, don't they do God. sound checks? You ain't reach back there and feel it ain't no wire on there, like. <laughs> <laughs> for this kind of behavior there's no need so please clean your act up don't let them abuse you don't because let... they're gonna convince you that it's artistic or... look tate didn't even give him headphones either tate got the headphones and yeah. the microphone. <laughs> all right <laughs> man that's hilarious or either you see they got the uh you see they got the switchboard right there the soundboard mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. somebody didn't uh maybe they're doing it manually and somebody didn't switch the audio feed back and forth from which, which speaker is doing it but i mean with these advanced sound cards they should it's, that should be going on automatically exactly was that a crossover or it's or funny like it's not funny it's there's nothing cool about that and that's what i'm saying that kind of content's genuinely dangerous that kind of content's the kind of stuff you don't want children seeing well that is the kind of content they want children seeing and that's the thing that's they why you're banned. It. Yeah, that's why you're banned. You're talking about this common sense. We don't want children seeing, you know, this man uh, getting banged out by the devil. This is horrible for children to see. You're banned. Yes, we do want to see that. And a matter of fact, we're going to put books into the children's school showing the same exact image. <laughs> How old is Lil Nas X? Is he a minor or? No, no, he's not a minor. He's, he's an adult. Yeah, he ha he's at least 21. I would assume. Okay. okay. Yeah, at least when 21. did he start his music? When he started his music career, was he a minor? I don't know. Okay, now 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 we gotta look it up. Let, let, let me see how old this guy is. Uh, I don't believe he was. Well, let's see. Oh, nah. So let's see how, how old is this guy. Twenty three years yeah. old. Yeah, he's twenty three years old. So no, and he only he's only been around for about three years. So no, he mm -hmm. wasn't a minor back then. You know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Old Town Road came out in twenty nineteen. So no. Okay. no, he he was he was twenty years old when Old Town Road came out. So he was never a minor. He was always an adult. Okay. And that's why, I mean, his reply is something about how, I, how I'm obsessed with him and when I'm sexing him. I don't even mention the guy. I'm just giving him advice as an older man to a younger man. Great. You're being used. You're being used to promote Satanism. And the reason they are trying to promote Satanism is the same reason they're trying to promote a bunch of other things. They want to destroy all morality. They want to destroy all morality on nearly every level by destroying the baseline of morality amongst the populace. It allows you to be completely open to Look, the slave mind quick. programming. They're trying to it empty out. your brain. <laughs> he he, he, he just figured it out. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, we got to go back. Like, he just <laughs> figured it out. Like, Wait a minute. What? Dude, he's smoking that cigar. Here. Hold on real quick. Wait a minute. Yeah, my mic's not plugged in. All morality. They want to destroy all morality on nearly every level by destroying the baseline of morality amongst the populace. It allows you. To he just figured out that Tate unplugged the cord. He's like, before you even start talking, you know. <laughs> all right. Nobody cares about what you have to say, Nori. You know. <laughs> to be completely open to the slave mind programming. They're trying to empty your brain. If you have morals, if you have things you believe in, if you believe in certain actions and acting and conducting yourself in a certain way. When they try and come at you with the slave mind programming, there's a certain amount of programming you're going to reject because it's going to go against your morals. It's going to go against your morality by destroying all of that, by saying you have no morals. You don't believe in anything. Nothing you think is wrong is real. That's all stereotypes. That's all intolerance. Let's completely empty your brain. They want to empty your brain so they can inject new programming. That's it. You need to have some morals to stand on. I wish him the best of luck. And that's the thing. That's why people don't understand why they're out here trying he look like he's trying to fix his audio. Like that's how he looks like now. Like, he already was like, "I wish you the best of luck." Like, right. <laughs> like he was trying to. Right. Fix was he talking to himself about getting that audio level right or what? <laughs> I think he was talking oh, to yeah. himself. Trying to destroy morality. They're trying to convince women to be promiscuous. They're trying to convince men to be weak. They're trying to convince you not to believe in God. Trying to convince you the devil is good. They're trying to convince you all of these things because then you have no baseline. Let's look at me. Right. Take away religion. I believe in strength. I believe in being as strong as I can mentally and physically. They don't like that because by believing in that, when you come along and tell me a lie, I'm prepared to stand up and say, no, I don't believe you. My mind is too strong and my body is strong enough to fight you. I don't believe your lie. I could rock with that. That's actually, that's solid. You know, yeah. as far as mind and body being strong, like my mind is strong. So I know you're wrong and physically I'm strong. So I'll put these hands on you if you, if you try to convince me of otherwise in an aggressive fashion. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that's... I mean, like, all of that stuff that he's talking about right now, you basically saw all of that happen, you know what I'm saying, during the pandemic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
They don't want that. They want you weak, depressed, empty for programming. They don't want you to believe in God. That's why they promote the devil. They don't want you to believe in uh, har harmonious, sancti the sanctity of marriage. They don't want you to believe in having a woman that you truly love and care about. No, they believe in women just sleeping with everybody. You just sleeping with everybody. Absolute degeneracy. Because if you don't care about anyone else, why would you stand up and revolt? Why would you stand up and protect society when you don't care about anyone but your f***ing self? They're trying to obsess you with selfishness. It is all a scam. And little Nas X doesn't even realize any of this. He's too ignorant to understand why they're telling him to f*** the devil for kids to watch. They're doing it because they don't want the children to grow up with any morality. And you are part of that. And that's going to be your legacy if you don't snap out of it. You, you're better than that as a person. Yeah, back, back, I believe. Back to Old Town Road, man. I'm telling you. But truly, I don't believe Little Nas X is truly evil. I think he's ignorant and he's been used by people above who are truly evil. Preach. And he needs to stand there and realize that he is a, a pawn. And Did he just say preach? It's not like he when he was talking. He had a cigar. He said preach. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't catch that. <laughs> the game. And he needs to be smarter than that and be a positive influence for all of his young fans. That's the that's the dangerous on the internet, not what I'm saying. Agreed, agreed. And we've had plenty of opportunities to sell our soul ourselves. Uh no, nah, man, we not uh, no, no. We, we're not interested in what you have to say, Nori. You know? <laughs> man, if you do sell your soul, use it to buy a microphone cord. Exactly. <laughs> well, he's talking for a long man. Let's get back to tape, man. What, what's tape talking about? <laughs> like crypto <laughs> pump and dump scams, and we refuse. I refuse. Never. They have tried Never. to, they, from simple things like crypto pump and dump scams, and we refuse. I refuse to have a single person who is a fan of mine lose money because I made money. If you buy one of my products, it's going to make your life better. I'm not going to sit here and promote some coin knowing that some. I, now, I've heard otherwise concerning his product. Yeah, but, I was you know. say, <laughs> when, it when it comes to this, I've heard different. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely heard different when it comes to his product. But see, but I that's don't how... know much about him, but I have heard about his product, and I heard that he... I don't know. Did you know that he was the most uh, searched on Google Trends for like a month straight? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Got to get his products, you know, learn how to be a real man. People are going to win, <laughs> but some poor innocent guy is going to believe in me, put his last money in, and it's going to dump and he's going to lose. Yeah. I'm not Logan Paul. I don't do pump and dump crypto scams. I'm not Jake Paul with his lying NFTs. I'm not these clowns. I'm a person of integrity who doesn't need money. I will not let a single person who believes in me lose money because of my words. I refuse to sit here and sell you guys to gamble. I refuse to sit here and sell you trash energy drinks. I refuse to sit and sell you bad food. I refuse to sit and sell crypto pump and dumps. I refuse to sell any bull I will not sell my soul. That's it. If you believe in Tate, your life is going to get better. Every single one of my fans is going to have a better life for listening to me. They're in Tate, we trust. I believe in Tate. So my life is going to get better. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's hilarious. Let me know how that works out. <laughs> in, in Tate, we trust. Mine's going to be stronger. Their wallet's going to be stronger. Their body's going to be stronger. I want people to walk down the street and look at a guy who's clearly winning in life, getting out of a Lamborghini with a bunch of muscles and a hot and go, that is an Andrew Tate fan. Yeah. I don't want anything negative attached to my name. I will not sell my soul for money. And, and I don't give a f what organization came along for 500 million dollars i would not f a female devil no matter how beautiful she is on any video ever because it is detrimental to society it's disgusting in the face of god i know i'm a, a positive force for the world the reason i know i'm a positive force for the world is because of the way they attacked me they don't attack they wouldn't attack me this way unless i was a good force for the world the way they've tried to destroy me is, sat is satanic in and of itself because they know that i'm a good person and they don't want me out here teaching morality that's why they're trying to get rid of me I mean, it sounds about right. You're teaching morality, so like you got to get up out of here because we're not interested in that.